Hello. I hope you are enjoying my lectures on economics, especially on macroeconomics. And, and today I am going to introduce the Keynesian trade cycle theory. It is, I have mentioned in, in my previous lecture that, that in the long run expansion of industrial market economy, has been has accompanied by some fluctuations in economic activity and that fluctuation is called the business cycle or trade cycle it is also mentioned that it is also mentioned that there are some 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 internal dynamics or some endogenous factors that are responsible for the for the uh, for, for the business cycle that factors brings the internal dynamics the Keynesian trade cycle theory is, is that type of theory that covers the internal dynamics. That is the internal factor. Internal factor is responsible for the business cycle. So today I, I, I will be discussing about the, about the Keynesian trade cycle. Okay. Now, now the simplest specification of the accelerator function of for net investment function is the following. In the following first or difference equation. Look at this equation. Look at this equation. This is the net investment. This is the net investment function, and and uh, and how it can be derived. How it can be derived. It is known to us that it is known to us that capital stock from the accelerator theory. It is known to us that capital. It is known to us that the accelerator theory. Is is equal to is equal to is equal to new new is equal to new new y t y t okay y t expected value y t this is the this is suppose this is a desired capital stock this is the desired capital stock and this is the expected value of y white the expected value of white so uh, by the year by the end of the year uh, the amount of capital stock the desired amount of capital stock that is required to produce the next year expected output next year output that is called the expected output okay so if we if we like in this way suppose kt this is the kt now suppose kt Kt minus k three minus one equal to new y t expected value minus minus new y t minus one. Okay, so now y, um, new y t minus y t minus one understand we, we take this new as a common factor so this is this is this is nothing but the change in capital stock okay this is nothing but the nothing but the nothing but the change in capital stock. This is the investment. So this is the investment IT. This is the investment IT. So investment net investment is nothing but the change in the change uh, change in the output change in the output change in the in period Y T and in period T minus one and multiplied by the capital output ratio. So before um, so. So, uh, so this Keynesian theory of uh, Keynesian theory of uh, trade cycle actually actually grew out grew, actually grew out from the general theory uh, of uh, general theory in the year 1930, and Samuelson at first uh, introduced the multiplier as well as the as well as the accelerator accelerator theory, and if you if you if you have a look on the mechanism, the mechanism is like that. The, if there is an increase in demand, 
if there is an increase in demand, then there is an increase in, in capital stock. There is, a, there is a, the, uh, a more capital stock is required. As there is a change in, uh, and, the, uh, and, the, and this will, this will create the investment. As there is an increase in investment, it will create income. It will create, it will, it will create income. And it will increase the income. As income increases, again there is an increase in investment. So in this way, in this way, this mechanism is going on. This mechanism is going on. In the Keynesian theory, in the Keynesian theory, uh, it, is, it is assumed that the price is constant. Price is constant and, um, and the labor, labor is, uh, and the entrepreneur can find labor as much as they require. Okay, and this type of, um, this type of assumptions in the um, in, uh, are in this model. So now, uh, the, uh, after uh, after after mentioning this net investment function, now we are um, we are moving to our next slide. Okay. Now I am erasing all this marking. Otherwise, I will not be able to move to my next slide. Okay. Okay. Now. Now. Now this is the consumption. This is the consumption function. Now this is the consumption function. Look, this is the consumption function. This is the consumption function. Consumption is assumed to depend proportionately on the current level of income. Here, consumption is 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 a function of y, and it is proportionate level. This is the marginal propensity to sell. If we subtract marginal propensity to sell from one, then we get the marginal propensity to consume. This is a constant term. Okay, so consumption is a proportional function of proportional function of income. Now, now the short-term equilibrium. If you have the short-term equilibrium, then 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 you can find this yt equal to ct plus it plus aet. Okay. CT plus I. This AET is autonomous expected. This AET is autonomous expected. Now we substitute the values of CT and the CT and IT on, uh, on this equation. On this equation three. And now we get now we get this equation. Okay. Now we get this equation. And after um, after um, after some steps. After some steps, the simple steps, the, uh, just rearranging, rearranging or arranging these these variables, we get this. We get this, and y t equal to this. Y t equal to this. To get this type of relationship, to get this type of relationship, relationship is y t equal to one plus s by mu minus f multiplied by the y t minus one minus a e t by uh, new minus s, we add s y t minus 1 and subtract s y t minus t. Okay, and 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 after some steps, after some, after some simple steps, we get this relationship. This relationship is, is nothing but the first, first order linear difference equation as it is lacked just one thing. As it is lacked just one thing. Okay, now we move to our next slide. Now we move to our next slide. So this is now we find out the static static equilibrium income. Static equilibrium income. What is the static equilibrium income and how it can be found? If we put if we put y t equal to y t minus one. If we put y t equal to y t minus one, that is, that is the uh, both are both are same, both are same. If we put here y t minus one y t, then it it this terms will be zero. This whole term will be zero. Then ultimately there is this term and this term. After simple uh, rearranging, we get this. After simple rearranging, we get this. Okay, y t equal to a e minus by f. A is the autonomous expenditure by marginal propensity to sell. Now, at initial period zero, zero income is y zero. 
income is wiser that is initial income so initial divergence this is this is the static equilibrium or this is the initial equilibrium so this is the divergence divergence is is the is the difference between initial equilibrium and the static equilibrium and the static equilibrium okay now i am erasing all this marking now i am erasing all this marking okay okay now now look now in period 1 income is income is in period 1 income is this income is this income is this have a total look in equation 5 equation 5 which which is mentioned in my previous slide if uh, if uh, if uh, in period 1 that is t equal to 1 if we put t equal to 1 here then we get y equal to 0 Uh, y zero, then you get y zero and put this y zero. Just the simple steps there. Okay. Now this is the this is the uh, this is the income in in the period one. Now this is the income in period one. Now 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 in period two the income is in period two the income is this. Income is this. Here. T is two, and here y one, and we have found y one the value of y one. Now we put this value of y one from uh, from the previous slide, and we get and put this value, this value of y one. We get this equation, and after some steps, mathematical simple steps, just uh, do it in uh, in in your own. exercise book then we simple in simple way you can find this y t equal to 1 plus s by mu minus s whole square and this part okay this is the y t income in period two. okay now i am erasing all this marking and now next slide now in this way the income in period 1 in income in period 2 income in period 3 income in period 5 income uh, and income in period 6 and ultimately income in period t income in period t can be found in this way the same way and look and look just rearrange and rearrange and putting the values of previous one we get this and this is uh, and and ultimately we find ultimately we find this okay we find ultimately find this and now now we put g in place of this put g in place of this s by new minus s is replaced by c so this is this is yt income in period t income in period t and now Uh, for simply for further simpli simplification we we replace 1 plus g by alpha by alpha okay by alpha now 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 look now this is the equation now look this is the equation this is the equation y t equal to alpha t and uh, alpha is 1 plus g alpha is 1 plus g so so now we find out the deviation deviation for of output from equilibrium deviation of output from equilibrium deviation of output from equilibrium is is nothing but the difference between the output in period t and the equilibrium so equilibrium output it is found e a e by s equilibrium output is a e by s and y t is the is the uh, y t is the static equilibrium static equilibrium output okay now now the putting the values ultimately we get this y t minus e e to the power e equilibrium output and equilibrium output then this is the deviation this is the deviation of output from it. now look now look there are four types of adjustment adjustment that means the adjustments if the if the output 
deviates from the equilibrium path if the output deviates from the equilibrium uh, equilibrium path what happens there are four adjustments four type of adjustments are there stable and monotonic adjustment stable and oscillating adjustment and explosive and monotonic adjustment and explosive and oscillating adjustment okay what is the stable stable and what is the what is the oscillating and monotonic stable is that if the output deviates from the equilibrium path then it will again come back from, uh, to the equilibrium path okay and monotonic means that if mm, there is a continuous upward rising or continuous downward slope there is no chance of um, of coming back to the uh, to the equilibrium path and explosive is also if the income deviates from the equilibrium path it will it will it will never come comes it will never come again to the to the equilibrium path so if the if the if if alpha the values of alpha lies between 0 and 1 lies uh, lies between 0 and 1 plus 1 0 and plus 1 then the adjustment is stable and monotonic okay and it will be uh, stable and monotonic uh, stable and monotonic stable and monotonic means like this uh, like this stable and monotonic means like this if um, if it is the if suppose it is the equilibrium path it will come this way to this one okay it is stable but monotonic the continuous continuous falling and now if the alpha lies between minus one and zero then it is stable and oscillating the adjustment is stable and oscillating and stable and oscillating means it it starts from this is a, suppose this is the equilibrium path and it starts from here and and in this way it will again come come to the again it it will again come to the equilibrium path so stable and there is oscillation uh, oscillation this type of scenario will be fine okay now explosive explosive and monotonic when alpha is greater than one as time passes as time passes then then the, uh, then the output will be output will be explosive and monotonic output will increase in in explosive way or or monotonic way how this in this way suppose this is the path this is this equilibrium path and it will go in this way this is explosive and monotonous okay explosive and monotonous no, there is no oscillation i hope you were uh, understanding now there is there is explosive and oscillation explosive and oscillation explosive and oscillation suppose this is the path and it will it will um, it will start from here here and there is explosion but explosive there is explosion uh, uh, there, is, there is oscillation but explosive explosive this is the uh, this is the explosive explosive oscillator this is the explosive oscillator. oscillator okay so this type of four type of adjustment mm, may occur depending on the values of the val values of uh, alpha and values of alpha depends especially on the on the values of mm, values of marginal propensity to save and capital output ratio if uh, if if in uh, generally 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 s that is the marginal propensity to save is equal to is less than one is less than one why because marginal propensity to save marginal propensity to save plus marginal propensity to marginal propensity to consume is equal to one is equal to one so marginal propensity to set is naturally less than one naturally less than one and 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 the capital output ratio uh, is is generally greater than one greater than one so so what happens so what happens and and then if you if you have a look if you have a look in our previous slide then you can find then you can find what I am trying to say, if you find, if you find that, that this, if you find this, this here, is and, is and, 
capital to ratio and marginal profit set. Marginal profit to set and capital output ratio and this is also marginal. If it is greater than one, it is less than one. So it is positive, it is positive. So here G is positive, here G is positive. And one plus one plus G is greater than, greater than, uh, is greater than one, is greater than one. Okay, so now, so, so now I, I would like to, I would like to present these adjustments, adjustment, this adjustment in, in a pictorial or diagrammatic presentation and in, in, in my next slide. Look, along the vertical axis, along the vertical axis we measure, along the vertical axis we measure, we measure the, measure the deviation from, deviation of output from equilibrium, deviation of output from equilibrium along the, along the, um, along the horizontal axis we measure the time. We measure the time. So, so if you, if you have, if you have, if you have, the, if you have a have a have a closer look, then you find that this is the initial deviation. Initial deviation is is calculated in our in our previous slide. This is the initial deviation, and if the output deviates from the equilibrium output, equilibrium output, then what will happen according to the Keynesian tech cycle? According to the according to the Keynesian tech cycle theory, what will happen? Then, if suppose if suppose the um, alpha is if suppose alpha is the alpha lies between lies between uh, zero and one. Alpha lies between zero, um, zero and one. Okay, zero and plus one. Zero and plus one. So uh, you will find there is a stable and monotonic monotonic path. Stable and monotonic path. Okay, stable and monotonic path. And this is the equilibrium path. This is the equilibrium path and stable monetary path, path you will find. If alpha is, um, if alpha lies between um, zero and minus one, zero and minus one, that is, uh, that is, that is point uh, zero and minus one means um, 0.5, minus 0.5, minus 0.6, minus 0.7, minus 0.9, this type of values. If the uh, alpha takes, then, then there is an oscillation. There is an oscillation. Then there is the oscillation, oscillation, but but it is stable, but it's stable, but it is stable. Now, if alpha is greater than one, now alpha is greater than greater than one, greater than one. Then there is a there is a adjustment. Uh, the adjust adjustment is like the explosive and monotonic. It's explosive and monotonic. It is rising upward. Continuous rising upward, and there is an explosive. Okay, so um, so it will never come to to the equilibrium path. And when alpha get up the one, and when alpha alpha lies um, lies between the lies between uh, uh, lies lies less than less than minus one. This is alpha less than one, minus one, minus one. That is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. This type of values. Then there is a there is a oscillation. There is oscillation. You can find the oscillation like this. This type of oscillation is here. This type of oscillation is here, and and it is it is it is this is, this oscillation this oscillation. But it is explosive. There is oscillation, but explosive explosive. It will it will never come to the equilibrium path. It will never come to the equilibrium path. So. Uh, so in this diagram, so in this diagram, we have um, we have shown that uh, shown shown four type of adjustment. If the if the income if the income deviates from the from the equilibrium income, what will happen? And it will depends upon the value of alpha. It is depends upon the value of alpha. And value of alpha depend depends upon the S and S S. Marginal profit to set by new minus s. Okay. Okay. This is the value of z. And now, if the, the values of s and values of v, 
marginal for the sale and and capital output ratio is responsible for the help uh, but practically but practically in economics it is found that generally generally nearly uh, out capital output ratio is greater than one and it is less than one so 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 generally there uh, there is a there is a there 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 is a monotonic type of um, uh, adjustment monotonic monotonic type type of adjustment is found found in found in, on the basis of economic theory so um, so what um, what we have um, what we have un, uh, understood here that Mm, what is the what is the Keynesian theory, the Keynesian trade cycle, Keynesian trade cycle theory, and um, and and uh, what is the what is the uh, internal dynamics and um, and uh, internal dynamics is there and um, how it works and in the Keynesian theory in, in the Keynesian theory the, uh, the price is constant price is constant and um, it is also uh, assume that the labor in the NTP universe will find uh, labor as much as they are required, and um, so uh, so uh, ultimately after some calculation in the Keynesian theory model on the basis of some some uh, some macroeconomic equations, uh, it is found that the found that the if the if the um, if the income if the income deviates from the equilibrium equilibrium path, then there are there are four type of um, adjustment possible. There, uh, there are four type of adjustment possible through which um, this can be explained. And uh, in this diagram, I have um, explained the Keynesian Keynesian trend cycle, uh, trend cycle, and um, and hope you have uh, understood this and uh, have a clear have a clear idea. Have a clear idea over this. Have a clear idea over this matter, and you have enjoyed this lecture. Lecture, and if you have, uh, if you have any queries and uh, any any questions, any questions uh, and any um, any comments on this uh, on this uh, on this lecture, you can you can uh, you can mail me. Uh, you can mail me on my on my email address. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being with me and for enjoying this. Link.